baby. Big suit. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> the time is right now. The Razorbacks versus the Yukon Huskies underway as we speak in Vegas. Got that right. And Hog Nation back here at home certainly pumped up and ready to go. From <laughs> Hog Vegas to the capital city, we have team coverage for you tonight on tonight's big matchup against Yukon. Our Gary Burton Jr. is live with fans at Brewskies in downtown Little Rock and Fox 16 Sports. Nick Walters is in Vegas. I think we should start with Vegas. Nick, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look, ever since we got back from Des Moines, we've talked about so many storylines. Devo, Ricky, adversity, and of course, beating number one Kansas. And eventually, you just got to go out and play some basketball. And that's exactly what Arkansas is doing right now behind me in T-Mobile Arena, playing four-seed UConn in the Sweet 16 and fighting for their third straight Elite Eight berth. Now, just about 15 or 30 minutes ago, this place right here was swarming with Hog fans. Now, it's a lot more Gonzaga. And UCLA. However, we do have one special fan who is a part of the group with me right here, and his name is Brandon, a 1995 graduate of U of A. And Brandon, you're looking snazzy, my friend. You got better attire than me. We are in Las Vegas, Sweet 16. I have not been to see my Razorbacks since 1995 when we lost UCLA. Now, I'm just a little better. <laughs> I'm going to root harder. We're going to win today, right? Yeah. Brandon, I thought I made a long trip. I thought I made a long trip. You came from Costa Rica for this trip, living in Costa Rica for a decade. I mean, this is my team. Coming all the way across the the globe to watch your Razorbacks, what made you want to do this for this team? Good friends, family. There's a past. There's a life. There's my school, and I love my people. This is what die-hard hog fans do, come across the world just to watch the Sweet 16 and maybe see his hogs make an Elite Eight trip. Thanks, Brandon. Maybe? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> We're about to find out, and we'll have that coverage coming up on Fox 16 at 9. <laughs> Guys. Maybe? maybe? Really? <laughs> oh, come on, Nick. <laughs> All right. Gary Burton Jr. joining us now live from downtown Little Rock. Yeah, he's over at Brewski's where the crowd is locked in on the game that's already underway. So how are fans feeling about the, the start, at least thus far, Gary? Right. <laughs> Right now, you guys, it's a little quiet, more quiet than it was because the Hawks are down eight as we speak. If we take a look at the crowd, like you said, everyone is locked into this game. There were three moments so far where the crowd erupted. The first turnover for the Hawks, the first two-point basket by Anthony Black, and when Nick Smith Jr. hit a three-pointer, this place went crazy as the Hawks are facing the Yukon Huskies. But although Yukon is the enemy today, there is is a person, a Husky, that has the Hogs in their heart, and that is 2017-2018 Gatorade National Women's High School Player of the Year, Kristen Williams, who is a graduate of the CAC High School. Now, Kristen, she chose to play her college ball at the University of Connecticut, and now is in the WNBA playing for the Washington Mystics, but even being out there on the East Coast, she still reps the natural state, so I had to ask her, is she going for her alma mater, Yukon, or her home state, Arkansas. All I'm going to say is, I just want a good game. <laughs> I'm going to keep it at that. I tried to wear neutral colors. <laughs> I, I'm i not going to pick between the two. It is tough. Only one person can win, but I just want a good game. <laughs> Chris, you got to give us one. Now, she did get to play against the Hogs at Bud Walton in 2020. But sadly for her, the Hogs won. But she said it was a moment that she'll never forget. And the fans here at Brewskies, they're hoping for a moment that they'll never forget as they hope to watch the Hogs advance to their third straight in the Elite Eight. Live in Little Rock, Gary Bird Jr., Woo we'll Pig. Woo we'll Pig. Well, let me just say, Kristen. We want more than just a good game. We want to win. Yeah, she was in a tough spot there. <laughs> well, she played true. it smart. <laughs> yeah, she did, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so here's some Sweet 16 facts that you might want to consider. 12 of the 16 teams have never won a national championship. Of that, seven have never been to a Final Four. The last time Connecticut played in the Sweet 16 was 2014, and that year 
they won the championship. No, well, that was that year. I know, right? Yeah. Tonight, by the way, is Arkansas's 14th visit to the Sweet 16. The Hogs are ranked eighth, as many of you know right now. The last time a number eight seed won was back in 1985. The winner back then was Villanova, so it's possible. And if you're wondering about if we will see Coach Musselman's <laughs> shirtless celebration, that didn't happen when the Hogs made their last two trips to the Elite Eight, but all bets are off tonight. No question about that. Well, let me just say, I think he's going to do it. I mean, if, if when we win, I almost said if, when we win, I bet he takes off his shirt. Well, you and I could make a friendly wager. About him taking, yeah. Yeah. Okay, just wanted to clarify yeah, that. Yeah, right, 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 yeah. Okay. Speaking of bets, <laughs> there's a whole lot of betting going on tonight, and that means more money for the state's casinos. I finally get where yeah, you were yeah, going yeah, with that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll take a look at how sports betting and casino revenue are doing so far this year. I didn't need you. Yeah. <laughs>